2017. The internet has impacted information management over the past 20 years. Explain two ways in which the internet has impacted data management. All right, cloud storage is definitely one of the answers here. Cloud storage. All right, so yeah, so definitely the first one is cloud storage. Um, data can be stored with cloud storage providers allowing um, users to access their information from multiple locations slash devices example dropbox drive icloud one drive or whatever. then transfer speed data can be transferred from one location to another very quickly via the internet where it may be very yeah, example FTP transfer. Yeah. Hmm. Is there another one impacted data management? So cloud storage transfer speeds. How has the internet, which is a big network, um, helped in the transfer? I think that's it. I think I think I've any other straightforward one right now. Okay, next one outline to is user associated with the use of the internet for data management. Okay, accessibility where there is no internet connection, there may be a way to get the data stored in a cloud storage device. And um, security, the transfer of information can be intercepted by hackers and used for bad purposes. So accessibility, security, um, yeah, I really don't like this question because, I mean, the use of the internet for data management, the internet is a network, so a network doesn't actually manage data, I mean, a network transfers data, but I gather that that's the angle that they're looking for, so as usual, we give the answer that the question fires, because we have to interpret it that way. State three situations when a file approach to data management might be more useful than a database approach. Um, date one very small data set the data set is small two non-skilled workers um who can't handle databases and three costs costs of database implementation can be high cool but next would be define each of the following terms master file and transaction file the master file is the um the file that holds every single record in it, in, in it has a backup to all the for all the transactions a transaction file is a the file that holds all the data or a certain part or a process within a system focuses on one data set primarily. something like that should be okay a master file data file right um two file organization methods serial sequential and then you could go index sequential index sequential yep that should be good there serial sequential index sequential outline three reasons why having a separate master or having a separate master file and a transaction file okay one the master file can act as a backup so that if the transaction file is damaged the info can be retrieved from the master to the transaction file is smaller <coughs> and easier to manage and update micro minor transaction three oh this will be a stretch but the transaction file is no the master file is performing analysis on the transaction file may be difficult because it may not be as organized as the master file or well, the transaction file might be um in serial 
organization and any master file might have a more um, usable organization like index sequential or something like that yeah this question would have been would have been tough let's go number two databases store and organize data using particular structures the diagram below depicts a database study the diagram and then answer the questions which follow oh i got a nice database question do they ask any weird normalization no 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 step one no just normalization rules you get three here, you get three here. It's only right in 20. The diagram below depicts the database, right? So state the terms used in database. A is a record. I teach I teach this in form three. B is a field and C is a table. Yeah. Differentiate amongst the terms and labels in part A, B, and C. Okay. A record. A set of related fields. Pertain an entity. A field is a single location that stores data about an entity. A table is a collection of records that are related. Related what? By by section. Section is only correct. Related by. Here, let's put as related. That's a related in an organization. Yeah. I'm not too sure to get the, um, the two marks for that table part. But they have records that are related to organization like a hospital or a school or something like that. A bunch of records. Yeah. Alright. Database design is an important process when developing a database. Outline two benefits of a well-designed database. Two benefits. It is more efficient. Efficiency is one and accuracy. Efficiency. The database would be easy to search and would produce results quickly. Accuracy. The data would be um, correct because there would be no there would be validation, verification, there would be verification and validation put in place. Um now state one normalization rule that is followed when applying each of the following normal forms. First normal form, second normal form. First normal form, easy one, data must be atomic or it can have no repeating group. Second normal form, I gather they don't want you to put that it must be in first normal form. That would be a little um, that would be a little cheaper I think so. Second normal form, you should have um, all all um, non D attributes must be in the primary key. And three, there can be no transitive dependencies. Alright. Apply normalization to the purchase table below to convert it to second normal form. Hmm? 23 fields though. I brought in the view custom ID and store ID and then store ID and the purchase location. So yeah, the customer table and then you have the store table. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And the store ID would relate to the custom ID in the next table. Yep. That was a ridiculously easy module one. Uh, yeah okay the transaction file this this game three marks here this was this was yeah to get the three points here that's plenty this was this could have be a little problem but i could see them marking that very hard based on what the, the exam reports so the normalization question was straightforward and